Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another video here on acids, bases, and titration. So let's get moving. Bam! So today we're doing an acid base calculation number one. Acid base calculation number one. Here we go. If the pH of Coca Cola is 3.12, what is the hydronium ion concentration? So first of all, I hope you notice that the pH is less than seven. If the pH is less than seven, that is indicating that Coca-Cola or any pH less than seven is acidic, okay? All right, so pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen or hydronium ion concentration. We're gonna rearrange this just a bit here. And we got log of hydronium ion concentration is equal to the negative pH. Then we're going to take the anti-log of both sides here, which is 10 to the, and we're going to now get 10, uh, we're going to get now hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. And that's up here right in the right hand corner here in the yellow. Hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. Now, on a previous video, I showed you some equations that you must memorize and then be able to use and manipulate. I just derived the equation in the uh, yellow right there in determining the hydronium ion concentration from the pH. But you should know and memorize that equation regardless. Okay, so we want to get the hydronium ion concentration. We have the pH. That yellow equation is what we're going to do. So we're going to plug right into that a yellow equation there. The pH is equal to 3.12. So hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 3.12, okay? And then we're gonna plug that into our calculator here. And remember those brackets mean a concentration in moles per liter, that's molarity. So our answer here is hydronium ion is equal to 7.59 times 10 to the negative four molar. Okay, now, just as an FYI, typically what you will see is that all pHs, all pOHs will have two decimal places. That's why it's the pH of the Coca-Cola is 3.12. The 1-2 is two decimal places. And all hydronium ion concentrations or hydroxide ion concentrations are typically going to be three significant figures here. Okay, and there is a rule for logs and significant figures. I won't get into details of that, but you're going to have two decimal places on pHs and pOHs, and pretty much three significant figures on hydronium or hydroxide ion concentrations. Okay, because Coca-Cola is very acidic, there are many actual industrial and practical uses for the product besides the actual drinking and consumption of it as a soft drink and a pleasure in that way. Okay, there are different ways of using Coca-Cola industrially or um, even practically. Go look that up online and you'll be amazed at all the different uses that there are in the product of Coca-Cola besides just drinking it. Amazing what people have used it for. Okay, I know that Coca-Cola has not promoted their product to be used in other ways, but it can be used in many different ways uh, bec because of the acidity of Coca-Cola at 3.12. All right, um, I am the crazy hat chemist and I've got, um, instead of a gold ticket, I've got myself a gold hat, okay? Give me a thumbs up certainly on that video because that's super cool and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you definitely want to do that. Pass on my YouTube channel to all your cool chemistry friends and I'm going to see you next time for more cool chemistry videos. Bye for now.